Morning everybody. Uh, right, we're in the Lake District and we're going to do a winter mountain. Uh, we've had some snow which is good. We all love snow. So we're going to go up there. We've got the, uh, we've got all the gear with us, got all the ice axes, a couple of the lads. Welcome to the Lake District. Um, just thought to show you a quick couple of tips. If you're coming out onto the winter mountains, as I said before, always try and get yourself some training. But you know, we'll throw a few tips in there in the video, just so that you can have it for your own entertainment's sake. Um, right, using an ice axe or walking axe when you're on the mountain, you only hold an axe on the top like that. You don't hold them like that. Okay, if you want to use it like that, get yourself an ice climbing axe and learn how to ice climb. Okay, when you're walking, you always hold the top of the axe. And the reason being is you always keep this hand on the upside of the So as you're walking, you can use the axe as an angle. Okay, so one tip you will need to learn is an ice axe arrest. Okay, and that's something that you use if ever you start sliding down the bank. Alright, now you use your ice axe. Bank like so. Using your ice axe, obviously I said in the previous tip you keep your hand on top of it. If you do go into a fall at some point, you bring your ice axe up into your chest and you hold the bottom of the ice axe and you dig this section into your chest. Okay, and the idea then is that you lean forward onto the spike of the axe so that that grapples into the ice or into the snow and slows you down. Now when you do do this, especially if you're wearing crampons, make sure that you keep your feet up. Okay, if you've got your feet facing downhill when you're sliding down the bank, your crampons could dig into the bank, flip you over and cause you some serious hassle. Okay, so always keep your feet up, keep your weight forward onto the ice axe. Okay, so if I was to go down on it, feet up, draw your weight forward into the axe. And eventually, you will come to a halt. Okay, ice axe the rest. Okay, another option that you can use your ice axe for, if you're climbing up steep banks, steep snow banks, obviously ensure that they're not prone to an avalanche. That can be covered in a later video, it all depends on the angle itself, the layering of snow, how much freeze and thaw you've had. But like I said, we'll cover that in another video. But, if you're finding it difficult to walk along on the bank, you can use your ice axe and the little paddle section on your ice axe there, just swinging it down at arm's level to cut yourself some steps into the snow and then you basically just work your way along obviously the snow that we've got here at the moment isn't that deep and it's not very icy or crispy but you kind of get the idea okay catch you soon 
Okay, cool, right. Here's just a little bit of an extra one, like self rescue, if you want to manage it. If you stop for someone as strange as you put your rucksack down to have yourself a drink and you end up slipping off an edge and you've left your ice axe behind and your rucksack behind, you can still stop yourself if you're going downhill, if you're going down the slope. The way to do that is literally spread yourself into a star shape. Okay, so if you start sliding downhill, doesn't matter if you're head first or if you're feet first, spread yourself into a star shape, hold it there as much as you can and inevitably or eventually you will stop. Okay, so you're going down, spread yourself into a star shape. All the snow then will gather in between your legs and your arms and it will slow you down and eventually stop you. Okay, so when you're going to be fitting your crampons, just have a quick look on your crampon. Normally somewhere, it's like there, there's a picture of a little foot. Okay, and that obviously tells you whether it's a left foot or a right foot. Okay, and when you're fitting your crampons, push your boot down into the crampon itself, and if your crampons are fitted correctly, then they should stop on without you even strapping them up. See? Tighter the better. Okay, put your reinforcement on the back edge. Snap it up into place. Bring your loop over the front. Thread it through. And then buckle it up the other side. Pull it nice and tight, and then tuck your straps away so they don't flap about and do your heading. Okay, that's one fitted crampon. It's quite out condition at the moment. We've lost Paul. Yeah, it is. But, uh, we're going up there, just about to see. Okay, here's another little tip for you. You might tend to find when you're using crampons that you get clumps of snow. You know, the kind of snow. You know, to be a bit of a difference. It's one of the ways to make your boots and your crampons quite heavy. And a simple way of getting rid of it is just using the bottom of your ice axe just tapping the side of your boot. Okay, so every few steps, if you feel it clumping up, as in walking along, tap the bottom of your boot, crack on. Remember, ice axe always on the upward slope. As always, nice one lads, well done, congratulations. Thank you, Name yourself guys, congratulations man. Thank you, Fucking brilliant. We just got away for Paul man. He's, he's over there, like, in that white house somewhere, so I'm going to go and have a look for him I think. Is and I'll really? catch you all in a bit. Okay right, while I'm here, I just want to ask to a couple of people. Al, Alistair, I said I would because you couldn't make it, so here's one for you. Bit of Ruby Port. Also got another shout out for Scott Hamilton. He was a guy that I worked with a couple of times. He's an ex squaddy for the British Army. He was a top bloke and he's recently passed away. He's left a lot of people a little bit upset about his death. He was a good character. So, Scott, here's one for you. That's good, man. That's good. And last but not least, Bromby Stokes. British Army, SAS, he recently passed away. The guy climbed Everest four times, lost all of his toes, learned how to walk, 
and then went and climbed in again. The bloke was amazing, so Bromley Stokes, British SAS, hats off to you, guys. Here's to you, Bromley. Rest in peace. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> coming to the Lake District, if they're doing a YHA, definitely try out Borrowdale, the UF hostel. That's Borrowdale. It's absolutely gorgeous. They've got a bar, self-catering kitchen, nice rooms. You don't even need to bring your own sleeping bags. They've got um, blankets or duvets, pillows. You've got, a, you know, pretty much everything you need, really. It's a great place, really friendly. And it, whatever you haven't got, they can hire you. Okay, let's borrow down YHA. Brilliant night. So there's your camping pods. Very nice. Look okay, clear. That mountain water is. Okay, good morning YouTube. How are you? We've had a, a brilliant night in the um, in the UFO stuff last night. Uh, we had some atrocious weather. I mean, absolutely atrocious weather yesterday. We got turned away from every single campsite that we went to. Uh, it was become a little bit difficult at times because they had that much rain up here. I don't know if you've noticed on the news, everything is flooded. Roads are closed, bridges are washed away, and it's made it extremely difficult for, um, for any type of travelling around the lakes. So, obviously, therefore, camping was pretty much out of the question. So we travelled around for quite a bit. We looked at a, a couple of options, like wild camping, things like that. And obviously, even with the wild camping, the, the weather, I mean, we are pretty hardcore. But the weather was pretty bad. I mean, it was bad, even through my eyes. So, needless to say, we went for the, uh, the easier option with the YHA, and I'm glad that we did. The room was absolutely brilliant. The service is brilliant. And, you know, the, the facilities that they've got are absolutely brilliant. So, we're more than likely to be doing it again. In fact, we've been talking last night, we're going to try and sort out some sort of adventures where, um, where we'll be stopping at YHAs just to make it easier on kit that we carry and things like that. Uh, and we can do various legs of the, the Lake District around various mountain ranges, stopping in YHAs as we're going along. So that's, that's the general plan for the future, it has been mentioned. But uh, as for today, well, we're going ice climbing. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in there. Guys, wait for me! <laughs> Tight, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a little bit. 
of the flood. Glorious, the entire flood plain. It has receded a little bit. Yep, there's up there yesterday. 